Welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday. It is Saturday, so it is grocery haul day. I did my shopping at Sprouts and Fries, which is a Kroger store. I have some new food finds, lots of great recipes you're coming, coming your way. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not and make sure your bell is turned on because I upload five days a week and Saturday is always grocery haul day. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to all of my favorite things and lastly come on over join us in my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into my grocery haul, what's for dinner and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. <laughs> So here is my grocery haul for the week. I shopped at Sprouts and at Fry's, which is a Kroger store, and let me show you what I picked up for the week. A pound of ground chicken. This is for my lunch meal prep. I'm actually really excited about the recipes that I have coming your way for meal prep on Monday. After the grocery haul, I'll share with you what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. And as always, I grabbed the pre-pulled, pre-shredded chicken from Sprouts. We love this chicken. Just plan on seeing this in my grocery haul every week because it is such an easy, easy, high protein snack meal. So nice that it's already pre-shredded and ready to go. Another thing I've been picking up every single week is this Fiesta dip from Fry's. This dip is so incredibly delicious. You can see that it's kind of like a seven layer dip. We had this on last Sunday when my in-laws were here for the masters and we do have some leftover chips. So I went ahead and just grabbed another Fiesta dip for us for the week. I needed some chive and onion cream cheese. This is for a recipe. And then I also needed some one third less fat cream cheese for a separate recipe. Some roasted peanuts. So this is for my meal prep for this next week. I just grabbed them in the bulk section at Sprouts because I didn't need very many and I think it cost me a little over a dollar. So there was no need to buy a whole pack of peanut or a whole container of peanuts when I only needed a small amount. I'm making Troy's favorite macaroni salad for him this week. So I grabbed some macaroni noodles from Sprouts. This recipe is on my website under Troy's pasta salad. It is not WW friendly. It is not low point, but it's a really, really good summer pasta salad. I did grab a couple of tops at Fry's versus this cute colored tank top. This is for working out. I'm officially signed up at the gym here in my community and this was 25% off and it's just really cute. It has kind of that twisted strap. It's super cute. And then I grabbed this sweatshirt. It says positive vibes and has a koi fish on it. It was in the junior section on clearance for $11. I couldn't pass it up. A gallon of 1% milk for Troy and then a small container of whole milk. I use whole milk a lot in recipes. This is one of my favorite little snack packs, these portable protein packs. This one is ham, Colby Jack, and cashews. I just like to have these on hand for a quick snack. Organic crushed tomatoes for a dinner recipe. Turkey pepperoni also for for a recipe. You guys will see that in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. I'm pretty excited about it. A big block of Colby Jack cheese. This is for Troy's pasta salad. Also some sliced olives for the salad. I did grab him some Diet Coke, a case of water, and a case of Coors Light, which are already put away in our garage. Some part skim mozzarella cheese. I need this for a couple of dinner recipes this next week. I did grab lemon juice and lime juice at Sprouts. We do have a couple lemon trees in our yard, but sometimes I only need a little bit of juice and I don't want to waste a perfectly good lemon for a little bit of lemon juice so I just grabbed these two little containers and of course one of my all-time favorite yogurts is the Chobani zero sugar milk and cookies this yogurt is so incredibly delicious these were the last two they had at Sprouts a pie crust this is for my dessert meal prep which I'm super excited about and then I did grab some really pretty Easter colored flowers I've been loving having fresh flowers on my island in my kitchen these were only eight dollars at fries. I thought that was a pretty good deal because this is a pretty large bundle. And for produce, I picked it all up at Sprouts. Sprouts to me has some of the best produce. So some organic green leaf lettuce for BLTs this next week. A couple of tomatoes as well for that recipe. 
a big spaghetti squash. I am making a casserole using spaghetti squash that I'm pretty interested in trying this next week. Radishes and green onions as well as celery for Troy's pasta salad. And then what's ever left over can go in salads and be used for snacking. I also needed some strawberries for my dessert meal prep. And last but not least, some fresh basil for a dinner recipe. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's go ahead and jump into what's for dinner and what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. So today, Saturday is always an out to dinner or takeout night. Sunday, I am making one pan pizza chicken. You guys will see that recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday, we're going to do BLTs. Tuesday is always a leftover night. Wednesday, I'm making that spaghetti squash casserole. I'll probably have some of those just bare chicken nuggets with it. Thursday will be a taco night, and then Friday is another night of leftovers. And here's what you'll be seeing on Monday in my meal prep. So for breakfast, I am making homemade protein bars. These are clean ingredient, healthy protein bars. I'm pretty excited about that. And then for lunch, I'm also making homemade chicken patties. So instead of buying them pre-made at the store, we're going to make them ourselves. And then lastly, for dessert, I'm making fresh strawberry pie. So stay tuned for Monday's meal prep for all three recipes. Recipes. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that I picked up for the week, give you a little bit of food inspiration, and of course, stay tuned on Monday for these three really good recipes. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you never miss a future video. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. Have Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.